Are you ready for spring? Are you ready for summer? All right. Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to go and use our Janome 500 and embroider a summer tee. Okay. This one right here um, I got over at Michael's. I think I paid like $3.99 for it. And so we need your t-shirt. 200 by 200. Okay. And if you're a Janome, um, it's sewer at all, you'll know exactly what this is. All right, tail on. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna score across first, okay, because we gotta get our get all of our materials ready. So let's go ahead and do that. Usually I just go ahead, take my scissors, and kind of score lightly on the top there and peel back the sides because we're gonna be going to float the top of this shirt so we can be able to get our design on it. You can also use contact paper if you want to do that too. Some people don't want to use contact paper. Got it. Not a problem. Um, you know, it's your preference and what you want to use. I just go back and forth between the contact paper and the pill on here. Okay. This is what I had available today. So this is kind of like what I'm going to use. Both of them are good though. All right. Either one. Both of them are good. And then, so what we're gonna do now, get all this out of here. You wanna take your t-shirt because we're gonna be floating it, all right? So we're not gonna put it in a hoop. It's too uh, thick between the pelon that's on here. And then you put your t-shirt in, there's no way to get it in there. So it's easier just to go ahead and float it. So usually what I do is take my tee, put it up. Here, let me just turn this a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay, this out of the way. There we go. I just moved into a new craft room, so it's, I'm still trying to get everything, you know, balanced and organized. And you know how that is when you're trying to rearrange everything and you're like, oh, I can't find my scissors. I can't find my tape. I can't find this. All right. Yeah, yeah. We all go crazy like that. This is a craft room. We're gonna do that. So, anyways, go ahead, put it up to the top here. Find out where you wanna go ahead and put your design. Just kind of flip it up in here. All right. Just to settle it where I want to. Because we're gonna be going over to the machine here in just a moment. Get it on there. All right, so once you get your t-shirt set to where you need it, normally I just kind of lay it down, all right? Stretch it just a little bit here. Take my hands, press down, okay? That's all you need to do. It's already there because once we go ahead and we put it into our machine, the machine's gonna go ahead and guide it anyways. So let's go over to our machine and we're gonna start it up, okay? Okay, so this is the design that we're actually gonna do today. Um, so it is on the 200 by 200. Okay. It'll take about 22 minutes for this, but for time's sake, you know, I'll make sure that uh, we kind of get through it pretty fast here for you. Um, I had downloaded this design from, um, a website and I'll have to put it in the link down below because I can't, I can't remember. I do have it, but anyways, um, I went ahead and I put it on my stick over here and then and downloaded it in, into my actual computer itself. So this is gonna be really, really cute. I love this little beachy design because I'm ready for the beach. I don't know about you, um, but I think we all are with all the snow and cold that we've had to deal with. So let's go ahead and we're gonna start our project. I'm gonna go over here. I've already got my t-shirt down. It's ready to go. So we're gonna start the project here about two seconds. So now we do have two colors. Um, one is like a yellow and one is a brown, but I'm switching up colors because sometimes I like to do like a little bit of an ombre effect. So we're just going to deal with like a little hot pink today. So go ahead, put your whatever down. I'm going to start everything out here for you. In between, sometimes I like to go and pull this string out just a little bit, okay? Just because um, I don't want to get it, want it to get in the way with anything else. 
So I just kind of pull my thread just to one side here. But it's gonna be really cute once it's done. But I like to change up when it comes to my colors. So I may just go ahead and put like a little bit of a fluorescent color in here, which is this one right here. It's like orangey. Um, let me see here what this says. It's by Soology. So, um, so I'll put that down there in the link for you. But it's, it's really, really pretty and vibrant color. So if I mix that in with like my pink, that'd be really cool. Right now it's actually starting to work on the, the glasses. So I'm bringing it over here and let you see what it, that looks like there. I'm turn you around here. Oh, there I am. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn me around. You don't wanna see me, I know you don't wanna see me. All right, so there we go. So right now it's actually, you see the little process right here that goes up and down? That's the color that it's actually working on right now. So I think when it gets probably halfway over here, that's when I'm gonna go ahead and change up and then put in like that really pretty fluorescent orange, you know? So it's really cool because with, with this machine, you can change up on different colors. Um, you don't have to stay with the same color of whatever's in there. Um, you know, like I said, it shows like a yellow and it shows a black there. I won't stay with those colors. I hardly ever stay with any color that, um, that I downloaded in here just because, you know, we all have our own ideas on how we like colors and then, um, how we like to mix and match things, you know, in our palettes. So, yeah, that won't happen with me. So in about a couple seconds here, I'm going to go ahead and change up this color. Now, this Synology thread is a little bit thicker um, than the other one, so hopefully it'll get a soak pretty good. Right now it's just doing a part of the surfboard so like I said it takes about 22 minutes for this I like the zoology um, I think that the thread on it this is more of like a matted texture thread so it doesn't have a whole lot of polyester in it um, I think it works really well especially with designs that that you want to pop um, so this right here is definitely, it's doing its job. Okay, so our t-shirt's done. Came out really good. You wanna go ahead and we're gonna make sure that we clip some of these off here. But it actually, it did really, really well. So go ahead, like, subscribe, give me that thumbs up, and we will see you soon for another tutorial with the Janome. Thank you so much.